Hey Friday everybody, Coach Tabor here at Ashburn Performance. Today we're going to talk about the Dumbbell Incline Bench Press as a uh, two-armed bench press movement. It's a very common one in the fact that most people would do it if they went to a fitness facility or a gym facility. Um, a reason I really like the Dumbbell Bench Press with two at the same time or a barbell bench press is that with the dumbbells you're able to bring your arms out to the side and have uh, free movement as far as that goes. Whereas with the bar where you're attached, you don't have the same movement of the, of the shoulder or the arm itself. So when you come out of the side, there's a little bit of give, uh, especially if you're trying to, uh, if you have something that's going to be a shoulder issue or something like that, then that's a great option that I would definitely recommend over the barbell bench press and switching it up in your program. It's definitely good to try to make sure you keep that shoulder having to be stable and push at the same time with those ones. So that way you actually get that movement with each one. So we're going to show you how to set that one up and we'll get her going. The dumbbell incline bench press. You're going to kick the weights back up, leaning back as you do so and then you're gonna press the weights straight up to the air. So, nice deep breath in on the way down. Exhale, back over top. In and down. So again, remember for that up and down movement for the incline bench press, we wanna to try to have that weight come down between the collarbone and the nipple line, so in this kind of region here, and if we're doing a flat bench press, same rules apply for whether that be the single arm, the alternating, or the incline, uh, the two arms together on the incline. Um, you're going to have everything coming out at the same side, but your, nip, your nipple line is your target area for that one. So definitely want to make sure you do that one properly as you come up and down so that you're always having the weights coming straight up towards the ceiling. Awesome everyone, so that's the Dumbbell Incline Bench Press. I said this just a couple seconds ago that the flat versions are very, very similar. Um, there is a couple different cues, so we will still do a video on them, so that way you'll be able to know what, exactly what they are and what those cues will be. So as far as that goes, this one I like for people that are having issues getting up and down for um, doing a flat bench press. Incline is a great way to be able to do that and not have to worry about having to try to sit yourself up um, when that goes back and forth. Some people have a hard time when they're starting to do bench. Uh, with back issues and things like that, that they have a hard time kicking themselves back up. So great one you can do. Again, the two dumbbell option, really nice over the barbell because you have that free range for that shoulder to move around and you also have that stabilization factor as you go to do that. You have to actually be able to stabilize your shoulder as you go to press, right? So give that a try. Let us know how you make out with it in the comment section below. If you don't mind giving us a share or a like, that would be great and subscribe to our page so that way we can get that number up and help more people. That's the whole goal of this whole thing. So thank you very much and we'll see you all next week. Hi everyone, Coach Staber here. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to stay up to date with what's going on at Ashburn Performance, please take some time, go like our Facebook page and follow us on Instagram. If you want to see more weekly content from myself here, Coach Staber, then subscribe to our YouTube page and I'll be putting out videos weekly. Thank you so much for watching and have a great week.